We've been telling you about America's corporations getting in on that nationwide abortion fight. So far, two dozen leading corporations have added out-of-state travel benefits for their employees to have abortions or to be added to their existing benefits that already cover out-of-state medical care. And these are some of the corporations that you see up there on the screen. There's a lot of them. Amazon, CNN, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, Lyft, MasterCard, Starbucks, Uber, and Disney, among many others. We could go on and on. I'm sure you've done your research. Um, the flood of companies making a public stance on abortion, though, have now even pressured others to do the same. Right now, there's about 26 states expected to put various abortion bans in place. Well, to break this down and talk a little bit more about the legal aspects of that, I am joined by Chairman of the National Legal and Policy Center, Peter Flaherty. Peter, good to have you with us today, sir. Good afternoon. So, um, kind of an interesting, you know, conversation happening here because we know all these big uh, corporations have come out and said, we will pay for it. But what do they do? Do they have to get proof that someone's pregnant? I mean, isn't there privacy concerns? And then is there, do they need corroboration that they went out of state and use, say, their $4,000 stipend to get an abortion and maybe not just abuse this and have a long weekend? It seems very weird. Well, it does raise some problems. I would say that abortion is not health care. If they want to call it travel, fine. But let's think about what happens in the workplace. Employers don't like women uh, leaving uh, the, uh, the office for months at a time or even longer to have a baby. So does this mean there'll suddenly be a subtle pressure put on women to get an abortion instead of uh, uh, carrying their baby to term and, and, and being eligible for, um, for uh, benefits of uh, staying home with the child? You're right. A lot of people say it's cheaper than maternity leave. And, um, you know, we've had states like Texas has come out, Peter, and actually said that the companies who want to pay for travel out of state won't be doing business um, as well. Texas Attorney General wants to prosecute companies that help women access abortions. Apparently, this is within their rights as well. That's something a corporation has to think about. Well, I think it just underscores the fact that this is a bad idea for big companies to get involved with the abortion issue. I can't think of any uh, issue that is more controversial. A lot of these companies are already under a lot of scrutiny for their woke political positions, and all they're doing is putting uh, fuel on the fire. I think there's a fairness issue here. Uh, abortion is not an economic issue. It's a political, moral, and religious issue. Uh, companies have shareholders, customers, business partners, and employees. And I doubt there's any unanimity of opinion on abortion at any of these companies. And if companies really want to respect their employees, they would recognize the differences and stay out of this most divisive issue. Mm -hmm. well, let's play a clip from President Biden today in his meeting with uh, those Democratic governors talking about abortion travel. Now you got off the phone today with the Attorney General before I came. Matter of fact, one of the reasons I was, excuse me, a few minutes late. Uh, and we're going to do everything within the power of the federal government to make sure that any attempt to obstruct, obstruct anything from travel to access to, to medicine is, is just not, does not occur. Though it sounds like well, Biden is definitely encouraging this. Something like this, for sure. Um, it's a divisive issue. What the Supreme Court has done is turn it back to the states so that we can have a civil debate over abortion and different states will have different results. And I think for the president to insist that there's some kind of moral absolute, that abortion should be legal at any stage of a pregnancy, uh, is, uh, is a bad position. There is no moral absolute on this. Uh, it should be left to philosophers, theologians, and each of us with our own individual conscience. It should not be done by pressure by the federal government. You make some great uh, points, and I also know a lot of people on social media are now going to be avoiding using some of those companies that are paying for travel. So when they put themselves out there, they also um, will feel the effect by the pro-life movement as well, who will vote with their dollars as well. Peter Flaherty, appreciate your insight today. Thanks for being with us. You bet. Thank you.